it was hugely thrilling for me because I, I love Quentin's movie so much. There's really no one like him. Mm -hmm. And to be able to say his words and um, to have him di direct you is incredible. He's, he's such an actor's director. And I mean, aside from obviously visually, he's spectacular. Um, but as an actor, he's also beyond description. I mean, he's just so, there's, there's an enthusiasm. He truly loves actors and he's incredibly enthusiastic. And he also um, makes you feel very free and very safe. And you never get the feeling that the film is as precious as it is. I mean, this is 70 millimeter, you know, it's, it's vastly expensive. I mean, it's just, it's huge, but you never feel the stress of that when he's directing you. I mean, my first day of shooting was in Stagecoach with, you know, Sam Jackson and Kurt Russell, and there was just that moment of Anne Quentin directing, and. It, there's just that crazy, and Bob Richardson shooting, so it's that crazy moment of, oh my God. Like, I, I feel like the luckiest person on the planet right now. Well, there's no one in the world I would rather be chained to. <laughs> I can say that quite honestly. And we've managed to do this great, figure out this great dance, which kind of happened very naturally. And as far as doing, like, I get beat up quite a lot um, by Kurt, but um, I feel very safe with him. I mean, early on, Dash um, told me, like, if there's one person that you had to be doing this with, the person you wanted to be doing it with is Kurt Russell. It's the most dysfunctional marriage, <laughs> even though they're clearly not married. I mean, he's a bounty hunter and I'm his bounty, but it is like a marriage. Um, and um, we joke about it being like a marriage all the time. You know, it's sort of who's afraid of Virginia Woolf in the Old West. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I love him. And um, it, it really is fun. She's pretty fearless, Daisy. And she's a, she's a gutsy girl and a little bit of an animal in a certain way, but um, she also, they all have their values. They all have their, their soft spots. Everybody's very supportive of everyone else and everybody believes everyone else, which is another, you know, you really believe, every, every actor believes the other actor is who they're playing mm -hmm. and is there for them in every way. The set is so glorious to work on. It really is. It's so beautiful. And his paintings are amazing because that's the first thing that the actors saw were the paintings. Mm -hmm. But we first, when we rehearsed, just to have that rehearsal space with all the actual props and to see the paintings and to have the stage that was exactly, that was as close to the actual minis as possible with a lot of the same, with the bed and the tables and was so helpful. And then she realized like, we were never even gonna shoot on that stage. You know, it was just all these things that made it so easy for us to inhabit these characters and this world, because we rehearsed it almost like a play. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that was hugely helpful. And, and also just good for the bonding aspects of it and the, just the chatting and the storytelling. I mean, Brewster and Quentin can go we can really tell some amazing stories because they both have encyclopedic memories. It's incredible. I mean, you see everything. I mean, it's really, you can't even, you, you can't believe how wide it is and how much detail you get and how you can see things so far in the distance and all the way in the corner. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting to see that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's so, the lighting is just so gorgeous. And just to see things on film again, it's so rare.